Hello, my name is Patrick Haley. I'm the owner of Carefree Enzymes. Uh, we're going to be winterizing our Martin house, and I want to walk you through the processes of what I've been doing. This is a 40-year-old uh, house, and I clean it every single year exactly the same way. I have my birdhouse uh, pocket cleaner, which is my concentrate. This is what I use when I'm cleaning each individual compartment. I like using my birdhouse uh, bird cleaner here when I'm out with the uh, blue bird houses where I can spray and in the spring you'll see uh, what I'll do here is when I take off the winterized caps I'll spray inside for any nesting spiders or anything else that took the uh, winter winter months inside the cage. I'm going to bring it down now and we'll show you how to clean. I've already done my mixture with uh, the bird uh, birdhouse cleaner already into my uh, solution. I just use a little bit of uh, just soap with my product and with warm water. Uh, this particular birdhouse, as I mentioned to you before, I completely disassemble the, the, the back breathing plates. Um, also, try to take out and scrub away uh, most of the bedding that's already in. I scrub. I make sure that, now again, this is the way I like to clean, and it must be pretty successful because I normally have a full house every every spring uh, out of the gardens when they come back. I like to clean it out good and thorough, and then put it all back together again. All right, we're pretty much, I uh, got her pretty much buttoned down for the winter. Um, I did have a pair of pesky um, sparrows that, I tried my best to get to evict them from uh, from the house, but they just over and over and over again, and I have a tough time uh, eliminating them out of the picture. So they did live in harmony with uh, the Martins. I think they all got along. I made sure uh, I watched them diligently. We've got this all buttoned up. Uh, we're all set for the winter. The product that I used again was my leader, which is a concentrate. I mix into the bottle, into my uh, uh, five-gallon pail. I can also do that with the spray, the 16-ounce spray. I take a couple of ounces into about a gallon and a half of, of warm water and use it that way. And that way I've got one product for everything. This spring, when I open it, I remove the, winter, the winterizing caps and I make sure that I'm going to uh, spray each compartment very thoroughly just to make sure that if anything came in over the winter months, spiders, uh, mites, fleas, anything they could take garbage, uh, so that when the returning scouts come in, this, this bird house is completely sanitized, ready, uh, parasite free. This is another Martin house that I maintain. This one's a little, uh, about the same age. This one's a little rougher shape though. Uh, this one's a little harder to clean. I literally, we, we pull it out. We take each individual compartment apart. Um, I thoroughly scrub it and clean it just like I did before. I'm spraying it uh, again with, with this particular product. Next spring, um, I'll get a ladder here, or I can actually just pick this up, and I'll take each one of the caps off. I started using the caps about three years ago, and I found what, it, what was nice is that I didn't have the cleanup that I had to do with the sparrows taking over in the spring. Uh, I also found with keeping each compartment a little darker, I had less uh, spiders and different other types of parasites inside. So again, when I open up the, uh, the other Martin house, I'll open this one at the same time, and we're gonna hope for a good spring.